Yo, as promised, we'll talk about Endwalker right about now. Play my music. Endwalker was announced a few weeks ago and while I would have loved to jump right in on sharing my thoughts, I wanted to wait a little bit more and see if there was going to be any more news and I wanted to settle down on my personal hype train before getting into it. Also I probably won't experience some new parts that were announced so for this vid, I'll just talk about what interests and affects me. And while I did say I haven't done PvP, I do have plans on playing it, so I did find it interesting that a new PvP mode will be introduced. So this new PvP mode would be more casual and small scale. Not my words by the way. Which is weird to me because A, PvP isn't exactly small scale as it is, and B, PvP seems pretty casual at the moment with all the streamlined features introduced putting everyone on an even playing field which is what i thought made it casual i could be wrong also if they wanted to scale it down does that mean we're getting 1v1 pvp well i'd be game for a tournament arc on more single player content i am happy we're getting Estinian. I've grown a healthy appreciation for Dragoon, so it would be nice to have the best around. Hell, we haven't fought alongside Estinian, so this is a nice treat for me, personally. Golden Saucer looks to get a new major attraction. You've all seen me get sucked into the damn place, so this is both good news and bad news for me. I love the Golden Saucer. That whole place alone is worth the sub. And we're getting an island sanctuary, which is so awesome since I've been playing Harvest Moon Back to Nature. I enjoy farm sims. There are just some games that tells you to relax and enjoy the simpler things. And that's what this subgenre encapsulates for me. They call it a slow living style of play where it's possible you can raise livestock and grow crops. This is the kind of change of pace that I both need and appreciate. Imagine just going through a really bad raid and getting wipe after wipe. With this, you don't have to log out, you don't have to hole yourself into your room, you don't have to get harassed in Limsa Lumins, and hey, it's open to paladins like me. We're also getting new jobs, Sage was announced first, and I'm super happy for our healer mains. I think they should have had a new class back in Shadowbringers. But I did understand why developers wanted to hold off on it, and now we're here with this new Gundam-inspired class. Honestly, looking at it makes me excited because at how unique it looks. And here's to hoping it plays well. It's a barrier-type healer, so I've heard Astrologian mains express concern. So hopefully in the end, it balances out. Finally, there is an unannounced melee job class, and while people online were quick to point out Yoshi P's shirt, which has been a thing for a while now. Firstly, there's a skeleton figure on the shirt wearing black. Possibly an artistic depiction of death. Death is usually manipulated by a necromancer. Death uses scythe. Ranjit uses scythe. So yeah, necromancer confirmed. But then this came up. The Arabic on the shirt translates to The Filth and the Fury, which is a 2000 film directed by Julian Temple. Temple, Tempu, Tempuraru, Templar, Templar confirmed. So here's my biased prediction. Job designs in FF14 seem to work on lawful to neutral to chaotic scale, much like character alignments in D&D. Gunbreakers look neutral, paladins are lawful, dark knights and warriors are more chaotic. Same with healers. This isn't so pronounced with other classes, I'll admit, 
but the developers talked about how special Dragoon is. It's the only job that uses the memeing set so far, which is why we have this new class. Would they continue this dark, edgy aesthetic for the new class or go a new route and have some sort of holy melee warrior? On a side note, I'm a little tired with bladed weapons. It's part of why I was disappointed with the announcement of Gunbreaker. Like guys, we got Samurai, Red Mage, Ninja, Paladin, and Dark Knight. Not all jobs need swords, so to counter that Ranjit point, both Nero and Grinwald used hammers. A knight in plate armor using a hammer isn't new to an MMORPG. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Also, I said our Warrior of Light is going back to being a gladiator, and I didn't stutter. You may have seen these two promotional images side by side, but let me double down on that. This is what we see towards the end of 1.0's trailer. There is no other job class in 1.0 that uses a longsword, except for Gladiator and Paladins. Being a Paladin main, seeing the expansion looking to end the story of Hydaelyn and Zodiac with all this you see on screen, it's coming to full circle, and I'm so excited, and I hope you are too. So anyways, this is your brother in arms Fox Marine, hoping to see you in game, and more importantly, Stay safe. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want more FF14 content. You have been warned. There are no guarantees.